I'm going to show you how to use the store function of your calculator. Um, so if we have an equation like f of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, and say the question is to find f of negative 2 thirds. Well, we know that this really means that we're going to plug negative 2 thirds in for each x value. But writing negative 2 thirds in your calculator is time consuming because it's three buttons instead of just one, which would be nice. So what you can do is you can store the negative 2 thirds value to a variable um, and then use that variable here instead of writing 2 thirds each time. So um, depending on what your problem is, it will depend on if this is useful or not and if it's actually time saving, um, but it is a nice thing to have. So um, you're gonna do negative two divided by three and then this button above on says STO for store and you're gonna store that, notice it just puts an arrow and you're gonna store that to X, so you're gonna hit enter. So now anytime I use X, it's gonna use negative two thirds in there. Um, so when you're on your home screen, your X button has a particular value stored to it. So that's why you'll get a number anytime that you use X in your home screen. But when you're using it here, it's not that particular number. It's working as an independent variable. So here, if I want to calculate this, I can just do 3X squared plus 5X minus 2. And then I hit enter and it gives me negative 4, right? So then f of negative 2 thirds is really negative 4. If I wanted to calculate the same thing, but I want to do it with a different number, so say that we want to do negative 57 eighteenths, and I'm going to store that to x, right? Then we can also use our second enter button, but I don't want this previous one, I want the one before that, so I hit second enter twice. I've now stored that to x, and then it will give me this new number, so we're going to have 12.25, if you need it as a fraction, you hit math and then frac, and then it will give it to you as 49 fourths. Um, so that's a really nice feature to be able to use that. Um, as you get more complicated things, it's really nice to use that store function. Um, then that's how you use the store function.